Okay guys, as, as promised, uh, we're going to do a little bit of pad work today, a little bit of uh, pad drills. They're not going to be complicated, they're going to be relatively easy, but ones that you can keep drilling, you can do maybe the same combination for a minute round, a two minute round. Now we've lent over a good 20 pairs of tie pads over the last couple of weeks because of all this self-isolation thing going on. So. Ideally, there's a minimum of at least 40 people from just this gym that should be just training on pads, all right? So make it happen, don't let them cut, uh, gather dust. Make these pads get out and, uh, and get working, whether you're indoors or whether you've got a little outside area, get onto the pads. Okay, for our first combination, we're gonna keep it, like I said, relatively basic. But the first one, we're just gonna, just gonna box. We're just gonna use our hands, hands only. I'm going to talk through it and then we'll put it into real time. Okay, so I'm with Nats here. Nats is going to be holding for left, right, left hook. Left, right, left hook. Okay, so this is what we've got slowly. From here, from your fight stance, you've got your left jab coming out, you've got your straight right hand, make sure this is guarding, and then from there, because your hook is shorter, don't try and hook from the same spot, you'll never reach. Step in, step in, hook. Yeah? All right? So again, slowly, we've got one, two, and then from there, step in and hook. Get that elbow nice and high and hook with the elbow. All right? I'm gonna throw maybe about four or five onto these, onto the pads, and then you can just use it as a little drill. It's a lovely drill just to roll into. Okay, so here we go. Nice and simple, but take it to a temple that you're happy with. Pick it up, put power into your technique. Basics work. We don't need to hit that pad 20 times to get a reaction. All right, strong basics. Okay guys, next combination. Here it comes. From your fight stands. From here, you're gonna start off. The first one isn't connecting with the pad, all right? So it's just a feint, it's just a light touch. It's just to get their attention somewhere else. So from here, just your even leg, just tap in. Just tap in the inner thigh, tap in with your opponent. And then from there, you're gonna go double hook. So you've tapped, you're gonna go hook, hook. All right, and that lines you up, back leg's ready to go. From there, just gonna come through and knee. All right, so slowly all the way through. From here, tap, land, hook, hook, step through, knee. All right, here we go, real time. Okay, so from here, tap. Start off with one and start with your traditional left jab and then team off after that. From here, you're just going to bang straight away. Bang straight away. So from here, right hand slowly, you're just going to send it. Send it in. By sending it in, your body weight is almost going to follow the, the line of that right punch. Right, so what happens is I send it in, I follow with my leading leg, this goes to the body, so left hand is now cocked and from here, body. Gonna go into the body. Now as I take it into the body, that takes me out of harm's way. And then from there, I can just deliver roundhouse kick into the midsection. Okay, so just once more from here, don't telegraph it, poof, straight away. Don't cock it back. From here, straight in. From here, bang it in, and then from there, kick into the body. Right, connect it a little bit real time. It's a bit more tricky for the pad holder to hold, but after you've done a few, you'll get into the flow of it, find a rhythm. Alright, so one from here.
For most small guys, train, but train safe. Take care, thank you.